Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Felicia, I'm from Taiwan. As my gap year is approaching an end, I want to release this final series to kind of wrap it up. And today I want to talk about one of the craziest decisions I've made in life. And that is, I decided to apply for K-pop training at the age of almost 23. Yeah, absolutely insane. So today in this video, I just want to talk about the reasons behind it, the context. Then in the next two and a half months, I will be releasing all the work in progress, behind the scenes, last one in tears, how I ate, how I slept, how I trained, literally everything. And the results will be revealed in the final episode. So make sure you stay till the end to know whether I get it or not. So without further ado, let's start this video. Let's go. always been a really huge K-pop fan my entire life. I started to listen to K-pop when I was in elementary school. My favorite group is Girls Generation. Does that kind of reveal my age? And apart from that, I've always been dancing. I started when I was four and never stopped ever since. So I guess like this just naturally makes me very passionate about dancing, performing, and K-pop is just kind of like the industry that I'm more drawn towards too. So then came 2014, one day my friend sent me a link of SM Global Edition. She was like, hey, you should try this out. And I was like, oh, okay, it looks cool, why not? And I started preparing all these materials like crazy, taking pictures, filming videos. And after I sent the application, I waited for the notification, which never came until half a year later. This is gonna get kind of off topic, but I'm just gonna like quickly express my anger here because it always takes them so long to reply to you. It's like... <sighs> it was on 2014, July 22nd. I received an email from SM Entertainment Company saying that I'm invited to attend this audition in Moscow. And let me explain why it's Moscow. So I was living in Hungary at the moment. That's why Moscow was the nearest place I could go to. Yeah, so that's just the reason because people are probably gonna be like, well, that's super random. So when I received that email, I was ecstatic. I was like, oh my God, this is a dream come true moment. Jeez. <laughs> but unfortunately, I didn't end up going. The first one was that my parents just thought I was way too young. They were trying to protect me from this toxic industry. And then the second one was that my dad would just be very worried of me and my mom going to Moscow alone. He couldn't come with us because he had work. So because of all of these factors, I didn't go to the audition at the end, which obviously left me very devastated at the moment because of how much I wanted it. It was kind of like a childhood dream robbed by the factors I couldn't control. I felt completely shattered. It was a very hard time. I, yeah, it was difficult to accept the truth. But somehow I managed to move on and life kind of carry on as usual until university. I think it was in sophomore year that I started to become very lost with the career path. I became very anxious for not having a defined direction of what, where I want to go, what I want to do. I think it was at the, that point I started to hear this like inner desire, like inner desire for performing. And in fact, kind of, I feel, oh, I always feel kind of embarrassed to talk about this. But I think I started to envy those keep up idols. I was like. I actually had a chance at 14, if I went to the audition, my life probably would have been different. I probably would have, I probably would be already super famous at this point, but because I missed that opportunity, so this is where I am right now. In hindsight, it was so toxic the way I thought. Everyone has their own set of circumstances. It's not like you are less than other people. And that's when I realized that there's still this really deep sense of regret in me about not able to fulfill my K-pop dream. But because of all the obligations for university, I couldn't really take any actions. So it was always just kind of lamenting on the situation, feeling pitiful for myself without doing anything. And then came the final year of university. That's when I was struggling the most. I felt this push and pulling force between being rational and emotional. To be very brutally honest, there was 
almost a zero chance of me becoming a trainee. I was funny to what I was thinking of applying and as we all know, the current industry debuting age is probably like 15 or something. So 22 is literally like you're a grandma and so i was like what the heck do you like why on earth do you still think that you will have a chance when you are like already so old 22 so old really the second obstacle was how toxic the k-pop industry is there are a lot of standards that you have to comply with there are a lot of hidden rules you are also forced to follow and especially when i talk to my parents my close friends the first thing that they always said to me was how worried they will become if i go into the industry so because of age and the industry i kept swaying back and forth deciding whether i'm going to apply I think the turning point really happened in January 2023 when I was like, okay, you have to do something about this. You either kill this dream and you move on or you just do it without regrets. And of course, as much as I love performing, I will not be able to kill it as, as long as I still dance. I will be able to kill it. So of course I chose the later path. I decided to do it so that I don't leave any regrets in life. I don't want to get to 60 or 70 years old when I'm reflecting on my life, thought about, oh, I really wanted this thing, but I never had the courage to try. I can accept myself try and fail, but I can never accept myself not trying something simply because I'm just too afraid to do so. And on a more objective manner, there's really nothing to lose. The worst case scenario is that I just don't hear anything from entertainment companies, which honestly doesn't ruin anything. It's not going to destroy my career, it's just a response. And speaking of chance, yeah, it is slim, it's very low, but then if you try, there's always a chance. If you don't, zero percent. Even if it's super, super, super unlikely that I will pass, but at least I will be able to properly respond to my 40 year old self, then I will have no regrets and I'm pretty sure I will be very happy to move on to explore more possibilities that are waiting for me in the future. So that's why I finally decided this January 2023 to become a K-pop trainee even though I was almost 23. Alright, so that's about it for my entire from reasoning to the decision. It took me a lot of time to finally make this decision. Honestly, I feel I should have done it earlier. Thankfully, I get up the courage and strength to push through this. And I also feel like it's just life is so interesting because, you know, eight years after from 2014, I still want to like apply and I actually did apply. That's something I would never have imagined back then. So I think life is full of surprises. That's what makes it fun. Of course, it's scary, but it's fun. Alright, so that's about it for today's video. I hope you guys will enjoy the process and just a little bit warning beforehand. Not, they're not all gonna be that interesting because you know, sometimes it's like just practice. Some of my vlogs won't be as structured as this one, but still I would really appreciate it if you guys can follow a little journey. And comment down below any questions, feedback, suggestions you have. Maybe I can further expand on that to make more videos. Of course, I will be more than happy to answer all the questions regarding applying to K-pop training or just general, like in life, you know, making big life decisions. I think they're very scary. So it will be nice to chat and then hopefully uh, support each other on our own journey. All right, that's it for today's video. Thank you guys for tuning in and I will see you guys in the next two and a half one. Please enjoy the process with me. Ciao! Thank you.